On a wire-backed chair, blunt hair hands picking quietly at a guitar, sits an American sailor with an orangutan look to him. In three-quarter time and shit-kicking style, he is singing The Doper's Dream. Last night I dreamed I was plugged right into a bubbling hook so high when all of a sudden some Arab jinn, he'd jump up just to wink in his eye. I'm here to obey all your wishes, he told me. As for words, I was trying to grope. Good buddy, I cried, you could surely oblige me by turning me on to some dope. With a big fat smile, he took a hold of my hand, and we flew down the sky in a flash. And the first thing I saw in the land where he took me was a whole solid mountain of hash. All the trees was a bloomin' with pink and purple pills, where the Ramallah River flowed by to the magic mushrooms as wild as a rainbow, so pretty that I wanted to cry. All the girls come to greet us, so sweet and slow motion, morning glories woven into their hair, bringing great big handfuls of snowy cocaine, all their dope they were eager to share. Well, we dallied for days, just a ballin' and smokin' in the flowering Panama red, just piggin' on peyote and nutmeg tea, and those brownies so tie into your head. Now, I could have passed that good time forever, and I really was fixing to stay, but you know that Jenny turned out to be a narcoman, and he busted me right where I lay, and he took me back to this cold, cold world. Now my prison's wherever I be, and I dream of the days back in Doperland, and I wonder will I ever go free. The Singer is Seaman Bodine of the U.S. destroyer John E. Badass, and he's the contact Zoila is here to see. The Badass is docked in Cook's oven, and Bodine is semi-AWOL, having hit Berlin night before last for the Maryland time since...